How long will a million pounds last you in retirement? It sounds like a lot of money, but does it actually give you a comfortable life or will you end up running out of cash? There's a rule about managing your money in retirement called the 4% rule. And that says that if you live off 4% of your wealth, you've only got a 5% chance of running out of money over a 30 year time horizon, provided you invest in a mixture of equities and bonds. However, that ignores two crucial factors, which are the state pension and income tax. So what that means is that the closer you retire to the state pension age, the more likely your money is going to last because you'll get a greater boost from the state pension than the drag of income tax. And what we're going to do in this video is model a million pounds in a pension and how it can last you. We're going to use the assumption of 5% asset growth, which is the typical mid growth rate assumed by financial advisors. And here's some data from Royal London using their growth rates on different asset classes. And then it talks about how FCA guidelines cap growth at 2% for low, 5% for mid and 8% for high growth. We're going to use the assumption of someone retiring at 57, they've got full state pension and they're going to phase their 25% tax free over all of their withdrawals. So the wealth starts okay at a million pounds and initially it's not being run down by much, partly because 25% of the income is tax free. However, towards the end, it does start to tail off quite dramatically, though it does last the full period until the person is 90 years old. To understand this a bit better, I've plotted the investment returns as well as the state pension, including the retired expenditure. And the problem is that the expenditure has to grow in line with 3% inflation each year, whereas the returns initially they're pretty much flat at around about 5% on a million pounds, so yeah, 48, 50K. Then they jump up for the state pension, but ultimately they're being eroded by mainly taxation. So we can see that where we had a very small net surplus towards the end, we've got compounding in reverse and the wealth is clearly in decline. And then here we've got the sources of income. We've got the SIP that they're taking, the tax free cash that eventually runs out and the state pension kicking in. And each year the income required has to grow in line with the 3% inflation. Here we've got income tax paid and the marginal rate of taxation on £40,000 of expenditure. So initially fairly low, state pension kicks in, moves up a little bit. And then when the tax free cash runs out, the tax paid pops up and actually they do pay the 40% tax band on a little bit of income. And you can see that here where we've got the tax bands relative to what they're taking. So the tax bands are due to be frozen until April 2028 and that has a bit of an impact on the money that can be taken. So hopefully you can see there's two main worries when you retire. The first is inflation and the second is changes to the tax system. And the problem is that you just have a pot of money and because you're not earning anymore, there's nothing you can really do to make up for any shortfalls due to increasing prices or increasing tax rates. An alternative way to draw down on a million pound pension portfolio is to use flexible access drawdown to take more of the tax free cash up front and then to have a initial phase of your retirement where you're doing much more exciting things like travel. And in this example, the person's taking 50,000 between the ages of 57 and 68, and then they're going to drop down to 35,000 for the remaining years. So they've still got some wealth left by the time they're 90, although it is declining quite rapidly. And then here in the sources of income, we can see that the tax free cash in the green is used up much sooner and they're much more enjoying life in the early years. And now for the tax that they pay, they never pay the 40% marginal rate because they're always using 
tax-free cash to enable them to spend more without going into the 40% band. They've initially got these numbers here, then it drops down when they lower the expenditure. When the tax-free cash has run out altogether, then the tax pay does start to increase in later life. The cash flow modeling that we do gives you a glide path to your wealth over time. And we can show wealth both before inflation in the blue line and after inflation in the red line. So we're looking at the purchasing power as well as the number you might see in your bank account. And the idea of a graph like this is that if you're ahead of the blue line here, you've got more cash than anticipated and you could either bank that money and put it into a risk-free asset in case there were adverse stock market returns or you could take a bit of a risk and spend it and use variable expenditure according to something known as Guyton guardrails which is a useful way of varying what's going on with your expenditure in retirement without running out of cash. I'm Ian Shadrach, a qualified accountant with over 30 years experience. I help people to model their finances in retirement. So this cash flow modeling helps you to retire but have confidence that you're not going to run out of money and it's also used to manage your tax bill in retirement. If you're interested in learning more, go to my website ianshadrach.com slash retirement dash calculator and it's got all the pricing there and all the information you need to start the process.